we are unveiling some a thing. products. A thing. Uh, from a sponsor. Who's right over, right over your shoulder. You can go ahead and point at that sponsor. Right here. Blick Art Materials. We have a new show, guys. The show is actually called, let me, let me, let me pull this down a little bit here. I hid it. I hid the knife. You don't have to whisper <laughs> about the knife. Everyone knows you're crazy. He thought he could hide from me. I did not think that. Uh, guys, the show is an art show where Jessica and I pair with an actual artist. Um, well, she's just getting right into the unboxing. We haven't even announced what the show name is. Oh, I'm, just, I'm, um, just getting, I'm just getting, I'm just getting this. All right. All right, I'll, I'll come back. Come back. Come on back. I'm coming Cause, back. Because we had, I had a big thing. I mean, I, I spent all morning making this graphic. It's a fantastic and graphic. And this box has ruined it for all of us. Three, two, one. Guys, the show's called Slob Ross. Uh, Jessica and I are going to be uh, pairing with an artist who actually knows how to paint. Yeah, um, or draw, or yeah, yeah, whatever artist, there is. We've got... Um, artist who knows how to art. Starting August 13th, uh, it'll be live at 8 p.m. What is our time zone? Oh, Pacific I have that time. written down, guys. I have that. I have that and completely written down. 11 p.m. Eastern time. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and switch that with this, because I think that'll. Let me oh, see hell. if this will just this will work here. Yeah, there we go. Let's um, see your box. Oh, there's multiple boxes. I'm a real animal. We are going to be unboxing a quite a few boxes. So August 13th, our first guest is going to be artist Brady Matthews. Um, Brady is also a comedian, but he does amazing pop art. For uh, a lot of it is of comedians, but it's a lot of pop culture, bright colors, very cool. So check out Brady Matthews. We will have uh, Tony Solano as a featured guest. If you guys tune into uh, Twitch Makes a Movie, you know him as our graphics guru. Um, he's he's literally made uh, the environments f and and graphics for every single uh, Twitch Makes a Movie thing. That yeah, yeah. all of it. And he turned uh, me into a centaur, and I I think I looked pretty good. People thought those abs were real. Tony, you're amazing. He's so full of crap. Uh, he's got abs. So and everyone. Oh, we have this camera. Everyone too. in Dumbwitz we have this hates him for it because none of us have abs. Tony, where were my abs? Um, yeah. So Tony's an amazing animator. He works for Tomorrow's Nobody. He's done tons of cartoons for lots of great comedians. Uh, Tom Segura, Burt Kreischer, myself, to name a few. You know, we're all just you know, at the same great level. Great comedians. Great comedians. Just me, Burt, Tom. It's like who's the most successful? It's really hard to tell. So um, as an explanation of what is going on today, uh, we reached out to Blick and said, hey, we're doing a show. Uh, the show is we get drunk and uh, we try to recreate a piece of art. We try to recreate an art. We do a Bob uh, Ross painting, I think is going to be. Yeah. Well, here's what we did. We were going to recreate a regular piece of art. Then there was a creative meeting and we thought, you know, it would be more fun if we follow along with a Bob Ross episode. So you guys can also follow along with that. And we will all be trying to Bob Ross together as we're interviewing this artist, hanging out. We're going to have uh, a special drink every episode. So we'll begin the episode with a little how to make this fun cocktail. And we'll put that calendar out so you guys can, can see uh, and maybe drink along with us. Um, yeah, make the, make the drink at home and uh, make uh, try to art with us and get excited for different artists. You'll be able to check them out a little bit ahead of time. And we've got some cool people coming on. So that was just a couple, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, so our sponsor is uh, Blick, Blick Art, Art Materials. Materials. Yeah, you can go Dick to dickblick.com, and I've never thought there's, there's never been a better sponsor. Yeah, it, um, never, never been a better sponsor for two of uh, the for Dumwitz. Yeah, Dumwitz yeah. and Dick Blick. So Blick Art Materials together forever. Thank you so much. We are going to unbox a few. Uh, of our packages. Jessica's going to be wielding the uh, the heavy materials. I will be wielding um, the knife. Uh, yeah. It's allowed on stream. <laughs> I mean, sure. You're no cutting... women with weapons. They're too dangerous. And she's in a kitchen. Oh, man. That's a side opener. It's a mm -hmm. side It's a I'm side box. I'm going to be honest, you guys. What I just did here, I don't know if you can see it. There's no tape there. I didn't need to do that at all. Um, so what we're opening here, I believe, I won't know all the packages, but judging from what I've read on here... Well, let's just actually wait and see. We need to leave our sponsors up. Yes. We're not our own sponsor, but we have. We're sponsored by Blick Art Materials. Guys, the oldest and one of the largest art supply companies in the world uh, decided to hop on and help us create art. And anyone who does a lot of art will tell you Blick oh, is that's awesome. one of the best places to go. So what you can see here is, okay, you guys, this is our natural canvas. We're going to go 18 by 24 for all of our paintings. Uh, that was what uh, did a lot of Googling. So you can see here, it's a cotton canvas. It's going to be strong, durable. Fun fact about Bob Ross that I learned, by the way. Apparently, he did three of every painting for each episode. 
Wait, is that why he's so good? Yeah, he just did one live on the show, but then he would do them. I think he did a practice one, and then he just did a, a final one afterwards. That's fantastic. And there's a great documentary about it that um, I'll get a link to, but one of our artists we're going to have on, I believe, Megan Johnson, um, who's a great abstract painter and uh, film extraordinaire, uh, she sent me a link to this. No one has ever bought a Bob Ross painting. They're sitting tucked away by the couple that owns them. Anyway, we want Wait, to pull these all out. Let's go. A ahead couple and owns. Well, they they sort of discovered Bob Ross and they made, took like launched his show. Wait. And so to, they own the Bob a Ross. A couple company. was like Bob Ross is amazing, and we're gonna make. Well, what happened was this woman was a painter. I forget her name. I apologize, but she went to like just a, a painting class that was supposed to be for this kind of local well-known artist running the class, he was not available, so Bob Ross was filling in. Bob Ross was a substitute art and teacher? And she was like, this guy is great. And it's so funny because you listen to the lady talk about her paintings, and she does a lot of that. And maybe that's just really natural artists really are putting so much feeling into their work because, you know, he has the happy trees and stuff. But she even was saying phrases like her own little phrases kind of adding emotion to her paintings that were nature, and I thought that was very interesting. That's rad. So what we see here, as you guys can see, wow, we got a lot. Hands. They gave us so many canvases. They gave us enough for... For three, uh, six episodes, and we need for three people each. Guys, Blick uh, Art Materials, dickblick.com, man. Go get check it. Check them out, and uh, I'm going to put this to the side. We've got a few more boxes of canvas, but I think you guys kind of get it on the canvas, right? Dad? All right, so what else we got? Let's... Take a look, see. Let's take a look. Let's take a little peek, see. Oh, this is the meat. Yeah. This is the materials. So let's get in here. So we got three sets. Ooh. Uh, this is an acrylic standard set. As you can see here, this is a 24-tube uh, set. Strongly pigmented, brilliant, and rich. Excellent value. Should we open this? Let's see what's in there. Let's see what's in here. Um, where's my knife? Team it's Olaf? right here. It's right here. I got it. Speaking of which, there's a community theater in Long Beach that's going to be holding auditions for Little Shop of Horrors in August. Really? Yeah. And, uh, I'm going to need you to talk to me after that. i got to pull focus on that camera right there. Oh, I can't take the devastation. Oh, well, you're opening this. So here we go. Blick Art Materials, dickblick.com. These are 0.7 fluid ounces, 21 milliliters for all of you people who are keeping track, which I don't think is anyone in our stream, but perhaps it is. Ooh, buttery, heavy body consistency holds. All right, let's take a look. Oh, how great is that? Look at these. Slob Ross. Slob Tuesdays, Ross, everybody. Slob at 8 Ross. p.m. Pacific time, 11 p.m. Eastern time, starting on August 13th. Come get burnt umber. Oh, there's so much umber. I, I happen to love umber. I'm a big, I'm a big umber fan. Kinacridone. How do you say that? Here we go. The kinaciderinon magenta. Kinaceridone. Kinaceridone magenta. Is it, I, is it like something to do with a quinceanera? I'm probably not. I just said that because if I had a quinceanera, which I never will. Why not? Because I don't think I'm going to make it to 15. Hooker's green? That's definitely my favorite color. I'm a big fan of green, but hooker's green. Hooker, is that? That seems like money. Is that like a fishing? Wait, is come on. A... We got to read some more of these color names. These are amazing. Cadmium, cadmium yellow. That's a... Cadmium's a big, big Bob Ross thing, isn't it? What are those Bob Ross colors? We should know those. That is rich. Run. That is rich. Primary red. By the way, here's about the extent of what I know of art is the primary colors, which are red, blue, and yellow. Buddy, pop quiz. If oh, I God. primary yellow and primary red, what color do I get? Uh, orange. Mm -hmm. What about? In kindergarten. Primary red and primary blue. Primary red and primary blue is purple. Why are we saying primary? Because it's an actual color. Oh. Um, is cadmium, uh, cadmium is a, uh, it's a radioactive thingy, right? It is. I think a lot of these are named after cool dioxazine. I'm looking up dioxazine. Spell it. We don't know. D-I-O-X-A-Z-I-N-E. Cobalt blue, cobalt blue hue. Dioxazine purple. Dioxazine, an overview. Oh. Is that just a shade? Yeah. Well, it's all shades probably. 
So cerulean it's blue. I mean, it seems like something you you would you know wash your face with or One something. One of my favorite crayons, cerulean blue. Never knew how to say it until I watched Devil Wears Prada. Did they say it wrong? And now I'm saying it wrong. I don't know. Gosh. Green light. Devil Wears Prada really really affected me as well. Green light permanent. I mean, it definitely made me get out of the fashion industry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. I was never in the fashion industry. Look at me. My God. I have. I have looked at you. Pop quiz. How do you say this one? Check. Oh, that's actually a Bob Ross color. How do you say it? Follow, follow green. Follow me and everything is all right. We'll be painting with follow. Uncle Cracker White today. <laughs> they really hooked us up. Legit. Really? Here's a cool thing from them, because we had to send them a supply list. This is called a Jack Rich... It's, it's from Jack Richardson & Co. On their website, uh, dickflick.com. Here's a cool thing they do. Assorted brush set. So every once in a while in the factory and stuff, a brush will get a little dinged up. And it's not perfect, so they can't put in a regular set. Yeah. They put together these random sets of 42 brushes. Holy moly. Those so, are just random? They're not yeah. like preset? So it's like... It's like ugly fruit only for uh, paintbrushes. For paintbrushes. So hmm. I was like, you know what? G give me those and we'll just mess around. Yeah. Well, I mean, because we're going to be messing around quite a bit. So this is a really cool thing. If you're just trying to get into art, you want to play around... Go just me, uh, get one of these me, little packages from getflick.com. Good shot of that. Good Jack, shot of Jack that. Jack Richardson is the uh, brand. And you can get this whole cool little kind of, don't forget about us, rescue a paintbrush. <laughs> rescue, the paintbrush rescue. Rescue a paintbrush, try to talk me out of rescuing a dog. I make Buddy do it every day. So we had cadmium yellow, that's Bob Ross. <gasps> There's Indian more yellow, in here. Indian yellow, sienna, midnight oh, black. I know uh, Mountain mixture. Tholo blue, oh, tholo blue, and tholo green, I was right, tholo, Prussian blue, sap green, and titanium white. Yeah, Bob Ross colors. Bulletproof, nothing to lose. Fire away, far away. And you know what we're missing? Easels. <gasps> oh, where man. Are we, where are we going to paint without an easel? That's very easel. true. We got to have easels. I, uh, I'm, I'm actually not really understanding how they fit easels into these boxes. How much, how much uh, configuring fold. is going to happen here? You, uh, it's like, it's like Ikea furniture, kind of. Hmm. I made that up, I don't actually know. We're hmm. gonna learn though. Oh, we are right now, I hope. We are. I hope this isn't more canvases. I mean, if it's more canvases, I'm fine with it because we need more canvases anyway. We're now missing six canvases. The you... first box we opened had five in it. We have three of those boxes. Oh. So that's 15. Okay. And then, I believe three in the box we just opened. So we are solid. On She's kids. better than I am at math. Guys, uh, once again, the show that we have coming out is called Slob Ross. Uh, series premieres on August 13th. Uh, so Brady Matthews. Brady Matthews. Guys, I made a graphic. I made Bob Ross wink. Uh, Bob yeah. Ross actually done by... Uh, Andy Warren. Andy uh, Warren, who is going to be a drawer. guest of He's ours. Going to be a guest. Andy Warren, also drummer of the Mowgli's. Go see them on tour. They are uh, on the road for one more week. Going to like, I think they're in Houston tonight, and then some other Texas places, Colorado. They end in Nashville, which is my favorite city. Love Texas places. Oh, yeah. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Look at Whoa. this. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to switch to a bigger shot for that. That's, that's All huge. Right. We've got the Julian uh, Studio Noir French Easel. I don't want to try to come off like an expert, but I have been back on Duolingo doing French for the last few days. Really? Uh, so, bonjour, flick art materials. Um, lightweight, portable design, deal for plein air painting. No idea what that is, but we're going to find out. Beautifully handcrafted, traditional Julian brass plated parts, made from premium pine wood that is stained, black, varnished, and durable. Wow. Sketchbo sketchbox, easel, and canvas carrier all in one. It's got um, a black wood palette. And a black strap, so you got the palette right there. They throw the art on. And Blick the, uh, makes paint. this themselves. Yes, this is one of their... Blick sells a lot of other brands, but they have their own line of products, which are very solid. And again, Blick is one of the largest art suppliers in the whole darn world. So if you guys want any paint or whatever, go to, uh, go, go to good old dickblick.com and pick some stuff up. Yep, it unfolds to a standing height of 73 inches, so this... Uh, can get bigger than I am. We definitely uh, are going to get wigs. Yeah, we're, we're thinking Afro wigs, like yeah. Bob Ross. Bob Ross Afro wigs. We're both going to wear uh, some 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 button-down shirts, kind of way too open. What and do you think? And for the traveling painter, huh? oh god, get the mic! Listen, it's not heavy. It's just awkward because I'm small. This. I'll do this. I'll do this. Whole thing 
Even though I just made it look ridiculous, only weighs 9.9 .9 pounds. So you can fold it up and go anywhere. 9.9 .9 pounds? Take your show on the road. That's less than 10 pounds, Jessica. No assembly required. That can't be true. Is it just folded over? We've got to look. I can't live like this. Yeah, I really need to see that thing. Uh, I think put up. We're gonna do this. Cool. Pop that. Pop, pop. Maybe this is a. Maybe I can find a better angle for this. It holds up. Uh, Canvas is up to 34 inches high. That's good to know. So you can get them uh, pretty big on there. 34 inch canvases. We, ours are 24 by 18. 18 by 18 24. By 24. We in we're, we're in the green. Oh, this is Dude, check nice. this out. Here. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, whoa. Wow, this I mean, we are. We are. It's an embarrassment to how nice this is because we are going to make bad landscape paintings on amazing materials. But that is what art is about. It's about it's learning about being growing. brave and growing and, and learning what risk. you do and yeah. And so you know what? art's always evolving. It's not always going to be perfect. It is definitely not going to be perfect on this show. It's never going to be perfect. Speaking of, this show, ladies and gentlemen, is called Slob Ross. The show we are going to, well, the show we're promoting. The show we are promoting. Um, it's, it's called Slob Ross. It's going to be uh every tuesday we're getting drunk and trying to paint what a real artist does uh so we're going to try to follow along with a real artist um usually bob ross usually bob ross well, we might, we're gonna mix it up okay cool so there's we turn it this way what i've done is just undone the hinges let's see okay all right let's figure this out i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let you i'm gonna try to find the best angle to cover you do trying to do it but i believe in you who knows? Well, you know what? There are instructions, pal. There are? Yep, guaranteed. Maybe Probably they're, in the box. Maybe they're uh, they on the ground. Did they fall? Nope, here they are. You guys. She found some instructions, that's everybody. That's just, uh, she didn't find any instructions. I didn't find any instructions. Leading me to believe that perhaps they're in here or it's extremely easy and I'm a moron. Well, what's the most likely scenario? Oh, maybe it needs to be on the ground because it's going to... Into a... Reminder to everyone watching, we are not professional artists. We have no experience with easels. I'm gonna Look, I found the palette. I'm going to mic you. I'm going to mic you while you're over there. I found the directions. Very deep inside this box. It was extremely easy to open, but I made it difficult. Um, oh, do you have that? I got it. Okay. I got it. I'm, I'm micing you. Here we go. Anyway, we're supposed to pull these out first. This is... Oh, just snaps out. Okay, I thought... I was worried because I am accident prone, but it's supposed to just... So, if you look at step two, you'll see clearly that it has little snappies on it. Well, I didn't get that far. No, it's fine. Wait, what? I'm still confused. <laughs> this is my favorite happening right now. This For the is... record, I'm confused because what I refer to as snappy doos uh, is something that is not, is not the same thing you're looking at. I don't know what you mean by snappy doos. Well, there, that was a little snappy do. Oh yeah, I was talking about this. Ah. It like, you sh you can lock it in there. Okay, so we pulled these. These are two of the legs. Great. Pulled it out. Yep. Tightening it. Slob Ross, where two people that usually are just trying to be funny are trying to do art that is probably going to be funny. Oh, you're losing a drawer, pal. Oh, God. Not the first time. Won't be the last. Uh, now, those of you that are watching Jess struggle with this, just know that this is not hard to set up. It's very easy to set up. But I am a moron. Jess, just, just uh, you know, uh, electronically, um, mechanically, uh, anything that's not writing really funny jokes on a piece of paper, she just, uh, you know, it's kind of like, hey, this is difficult for me. and Give me some time. But I do. I just don't help her at all. And let her struggle through it. All right, so what I was not doing that I just realized that I've corrected is um, I needed to tighten the legs. Very oh. easy. Just a quick twist, and those will stay up, which I think is important. Yeah. It probably would help if she knew anything about what an easel was supposed to look like. So we open this. Yes. Yes. Here we go. 
I'm super excited about the pallets too. The pallets look awesome. Oh. Look at these huge pallets. I've got like, I mean, I think Bob Ross's was bigger. Bob Ross's was bigger, right? Do you put your thumb in it like this? Oh, it's like an arm holdy. How do you do? Do you do, do you do this? Is this, is this, is this how you hold a pallet? Is this? Listen, you guys, I'm just gonna go on the record. If you buy a Julian Noir easel from Blick Art Materials and you find yourself struggling to open it, I would put my money on the fact that you just need to loosen one of these things somewhere. That seems to be the, uh, the crux of all of my run-ins. So when you open this, you'll find the instructions. This is your palette where you'll put all the paints. Ta-da, hold it like this. Oh, I'm an artist. But this, you can put all your paints, your brushes, your materials. Here's the strap, so when you're on the go, attach that up here, boom. You can travel with it everywhere. And this is a drawer. So it comes out the front of your easel that holds up to a 34 inch canvas. I mean, and then we've got these at the bottom to hold the canvas, you turn them, twist them, turn it, twist it, pop it. Cool. It's like pop it for art. That's our art materials. Yep. Okay, we covered it. Um, so you guys remember uh, every Tuesday, starting August 13th at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 11 p.m. No, excuse me, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Pacific Time. That's 10 p.m. Central. Um, for Slob Ross. For Slob Ross. Slob uh, Ross, we'll everybody. We'll do six episodes. It's, uh, it's vodka season, so we're doing all vodka drinks. We will do fun promotional videos of, uh, of the vodka drink just a little ahead of every episode. And um, you can make your drink along with us and paint along with us and Bob and our artists and get excited to meet some really cool people. So that's that for now. And tune in later today if you're around 4 p.m. So we've got an hour and a half from now is Twitch Makes a Movie, the show where all of you help us make, make a, a movie. movie. All right. See you soon, witnesses. I decided you're called witnesses. Or dum dums. We'll decide. All right. That was great. Is the sound still on?